Hello, I'm Melissa Ozawa, and you're listening to the Editor's Hour Gardening Edition. My guest here today is Emily Thompson, a floral designer in New York City, who is helping us with our Valentine's arrangements. The first thing you want to do is you want to give them a fresh drink of water, and the best way to do that is to give them a fresh cut on their stems. I like to give them a very sharp cut uh, on the diagonal, Mm -hmm. um, giving them as much exposed stem to uh, encounter that water Mm -hmm. as possible. When you cut, should you have the foliage in the water? Should you remove the foliage? We always remove any bit of foliage that's below the water line. It, it will raw and it'll make your flowers die much faster. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between using a, a bowl and a, a standard parlor vase? I love footed bowls like these. They allow a little bit of air under the arrangement. Mm-hmm. First, I make a little grid over the top with maybe about an inch in between the squares. And then the really important part with this is to tape all around the lip Mm -hmm. with another piece of tape all the way around and then tape that to itself. How do you measure how much stem you should cut? I hold a branch up to the vessel Mm -hmm. and I see where it's going to hit the bottom of the vessel. And at that kind of eyeball measured point, I'll, I'll cut a nice diagonal. I'm kind of grouping them in one area of the arrangement. I tend to not pepper my arrangements with flowers kind of evenly. I concentrate them in, in groups, much more like a growing pattern. I definitely believe that there should be a bit of air moving through the arrangement. Mm-hmm. I want things to look alive. You have a lot of different reds going on and different complementary colors, so tell a little bit about how you choose your colors. The first way to handle it is to go monochrome. And then taking a red into a deeper tone or a paler tone is a really nice, simple way to control your arrangement and make it feel intentional. And thank you so much, Emily, for being on the show and for creating this really beautiful arrangement. 